Hello and welcome to Always in My Art for Kids. Today we're going to be working on Wax Resist. This art style is kind of fun. Uh, here's an example of it here. We've got white crayon that I used and I just made some designs on the paper and then I went over it with watercolor paints. And what happens in Wax Resist is the wax and the crayon, when it's added to the paper, will push away any moisture that gets near it, as you can see here. There's little tiny sections where it didn't quite do that, but that's probably where I didn't coat the paper really, really well with my wax, with my crayon. And that's okay. I think it gives it a really cool look. So that's the basic principle of it, is you're using something with an emollient type element, wax or oil or something, and then you're applying it to paper. And you have to apply it pretty thick, and then you just brush over it with paint, water-based paint. It's gotta be water-based paint. I have some water-based paints here. This one I got at the dollar store it's acrylic, but it does say water soluble. So that means it's good to use on this project. Water paints will work wonderfully on this project. So you apply a layer of crayon, wax, something with oil in it. And let me show you some of the things I'm gonna try. So this is the perfect time to experiment. There are some things that I've tried already that I know will work, so I'll tell you that'll work for sure. But I encourage you to try some different things. I'll show you what I mean. I've got a white crayon here. That's what I used on this, just white crayons. I've also got these pretty pearl crayons that I wanna try. I've got oil pastels, and if you have oil pastels, you can certainly try them. I don't know what'll happen. I've never used my oil pastels in this way. So I'm gonna try it. And I've got these neon colors, They're metallic crayons. And they are wax crayons, but they've got a metallic sheen to them. It's kinda cool and fun. The other thing that we're gonna need is the paints. And I'll talk real quickly about the paints. This is a multi-purpose acrylic paint. It is water soluble, safe, non-toxic. I got this at the dollar store. So I'm gonna give this a try. Sometimes you might find acrylic paint that is heavy bodied and you don't want that. You want the thinnest paint that you can find. In fact, this paint, it's really inexpensive. It's not heavy bodied. I'm gonna to have to water it down a little bit. So we will have to add water to these. I also have some more acrylic paint. I'm gonna try a blue, because I've got two different things in mind. I'll tell you about those in just a minute. I'm pretty excited. So those are the, the materials that you're gonna to need to apply to the paper. And the paper you'll need, I'm just gonna be using some cardstock. This is, um, this is like a construction paper. So construction paper will work. If you have mixed media paper, drawing paper, um, I've got, some cardstock here that I'm using the back of something that I had used in the past and didn't it didn't work out the way I wanted it to so I'm just gonna use the back you're gonna need to water this paint down you want it to be a thin wash it's almost like a tinted water um, so I'm gonna just put them in little paper cups and add some water to it and stir it up and I want it to be very 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 thin so that when I brush over my wax and over my crayon or oil pastel or whatever I use, it'll, it'll push it away if it's not too, too heavy. Watercolors would work wonderfully, the kind that you get in the little trays and you just add the water to them. Those are great. I don't happen to have any with me right now, but if that's what you have, please use that. That's a great idea. Okay, here's why I'm so excited. It is almost the 4th of July. So I wanna get these pictures done for my big 4th of July thing, ta-da! 4th of July is a fun day for uh, going out and watching fireworks. So I'm gonna make a fireworks picture. 
And that's when I probably will want to use my neon colors because I want them to be very, very bright. So anything that's going to be bright and colorful and my metallic crayons might also work really well with the, um, I've got some golds and some silvers and coppers in here. So I'm going to see what happens when I use those. I don't know. I've not done it before, so I'll find out. And you can use regular crayons too. Just your, if you've got a box of crayons at home, definitely the regular crayons. The only thing is you might want to use reds, oranges, yellows, and that because you're going to be covering it up with uh, a dark paint. And this project, since we're going to be making a night sky, I'm going to use black paint because I want it to look like a night sky. So I'm going to make my fireworks and then I'm going to wash over it with black paint. Let's get started and see what happens. So I'm going to grab my paper and I'm going to make 4th of July-ish looking things. So I've got these crayons. So I'm just going to make big bright lines like that. You know, like the fireworks going off in the sky. And it's just a bunch of little lines. And they might even start kind of, you know how they fall a little bit? Like once they start exploding, they kind of do the little gravity happens. It's real. It takes over. Okay, so something like that. You might have another idea of some, some kind of a shape that you'd like to do in the sky. You can do a real simple one with just some lines like this, however you want. I'm going to try my, remember I wanted to try my metallic ones too. Let's see if we've got a silver. Oh, here's a gold. Okay, so I'm going to do a gold. And I'm going to make them a little tiny here. And then they're going to get bigger as I go away from the center of the circle. And I'm actually going to bring them on down and let them droop a little bit. Because they're falling to the ground. Kind of looks like a cartoon character. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch Bugs Bunny, and there was this character, and he had this long red hair. And I don't remember you could even see his face. But Bugs Bunny was being the barber to this little character. It's pretty funny. Okay, and here is some... Oh, I think this is copper. It looks like it anyway, so we'll give it a try. Now see how I'm applying it really thick and heavy? And see these big glumps right there? That's okay, because that's going to keep the paint off of it. Okay, I'm going to keep on going, and I'll show you what I do next. I've done some more to it. You can put as much or as little as you want. I used some of the metallic crayons. I used some of the neon crayons. I added little people down here at the bottom, and I just made some shapes like they're watching so at night you couldn't really see their faces or anything because they're all so busy watching what's going on in the sky because it's really fantastic and fun to watch. And I also made some smaller ones. In art, if you want something to look like it's far, far away from the eye, from where you are, you'll make it smaller off in the distance and the things right up close to you are going to look really, really big. So I have varied the size, uh, shape, and, and all kinds of things. So my, my picture is finished right here, so I'm ready to put the paint on. So I've got my black paint. I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom of this cup. I just want to make a wash. I don't want it to be glumpy and gloppy. I don't want it to be really thick. I just want a little bit of a wash. So I'm going to put in just a couple of blobs at the bottom, and I'm going to add some water. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time so that um, I can, if I need more of one or the other, I can get it. Okay, and I've got my paintbrush here, and I'm just going to mix it in there. Okay. We can try this and just see what happens. This just might be it. I think there's some more clumps in there that I want to get nice and mixed up in there. So I'm going to mix it really well. Okay, I think that's it. And you can see on the side of the cup what's happening. It is a waxed lining on the inside of it. So it can hold the moisture. And it won't spill out all over your clothes when you're drinking something. But you can see what's happening is 
I'm trying to put the paint onto the wax and the wax in the cup is pushing it away. I think this is a good consistency. It's reacting really well to the paper cup anyway. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over it. Oh my goodness, look at this. And I'm going very lightly over it. I'm not, I don't want a big heavy coat because I want it to come shining through and it is. Look at how the, the colors are shining right through there. There they are. And I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. And this is gonna be my night sky. And I've got something down here on my table so I can wash this off. You might want to put some newspaper or something on your table or outside. Um, it is water soluble, so it won't make too much of a mess. But enough to be messy, which is kind of fun. Okay, so oh, I'm going to get my people. There they are. Look, they're pushing away that paint and that water. They're going, no, we're here. We're watching the fireworks. Don't be painting on us. I'm going to get my corners. And I want to finish off this side here. And spread it out nice and even. And you can see where on, on my people, where I didn't put enough pressure on, of wax on my paper. It kind of went through to the went through but that's okay um this makes a really fun fourth of july scene i uh, uh if you do go out with your family to watch fireworks in your area i hope you enjoy it and have a really wonderful wonderful time but as always be safe be careful always always have a grown-up around don't ever try these on your own I don't mean the painting, I mean the fireworks. This, yeah, this is safe. Let me show you the other one I wanted to make. So I'm gonna set this over to dry. You can see how it, the wax resisted. So here's a secret note that I found. And someone wrote a secret message. I can't wait to see it. Okay, and you can do this too. If you just have a white crayon, you can write a secret note on paper. It's kind of tricky because it's hard to see, but it's really, it's really fun. And then have your friend or your brother, your sister, or your parents go over it and see what it says. Okay, here we go. Oh, do you see it? There's the letters. Look at that. It's coming through. It's, there, there it is. Clean. Does that say clean? Yeah, clean your room. Clean your room? Really? That's my secret message? Well, it definitely needs to be done because I had a lot of fun, but I made a lot of mess and I need to clean my brushes, my room. Yeah. Until next time, everyone. Happy 4th of July. Bye for now.